No. No. King of uh, Lightning? You're basically actually barking on the wrong tree. You know that? I like your videos. Trust me, they are amazing. But saying that Naruto is not the symbol of working hard or not the symbol of basically what he used to be is wrong in your part. I'm sorry, but I have to at least say this. If you're angry at Naruto and his character uh, complexity or aside from what Kishimoto has made him, all I had to say is, fine, believe that, but I'm gonna actually tell you right now how wrong you are about the character and why you basically don't have enough supporting facts about Naruto's situation as he's depicted on by being just like Ashira as you claimed in one of your videos. Here's the record straight for you. Naruto is not Ashira. Naruto isn't Ashira, he's not Ashira, he's only an incarnation. And if I've actually learned anything about incarnation cycles, is that incarnation cycles are extremely inaccurate at times, and as well as different in every way whatsoever. Ever. Here's the thing. An incarnation is only depicted on his environment. An incarnation only lives depending on the environment around them. And stating that you basically think Naruto is not the symbol of working hard is one thing, but the only thing the only thing that is actually going for the idea of him being just like Ashira is just that, just like Ashira. Ashira is only similar to Naruto, and the truth of the matter is Ashira's dead! He's not alive anymore! He doesn't live anymore, and the worst part about it is that we don't know anything about this guy. We don't know what he did, we don't know what he actually had to go through, we don't know how he actually brought everyone together, we don't know how he actually obtained his powers, we don't know anything about him. He just came in the last minute of the manga. The <laughs> very last minute. Good stretching it, Kishimoto, good stretching it, but still. From a power standpoint, you're right. But I'm not going to actually judge the character over a power standpoint, or I'm actually going to rant here for no apparent reason. I'm just ranting at some of the facts that you basically are stating. If you hate the character, fine. You're entitled to your own opinions. But through the entire majority of the war, through the entire majority of the pain arc, through the entire majority of every decision that Naruto has to make, no one was holding his hand. No one. Not his parents, not Ashira, not the sage. All he had to do was actually obtain the strength on his own. And sometimes, yes, he had help, but who doesn't actually have help from one point to another? It's almost like being extremely nitpicky about Sasuke's situation and his Sharingan just because he's blessed with it. Naruto is not blessed with anything. If the only thing he actually has is the tail beast strength, then that's all he has. Aside from that, he had to actually struggle more than anyone. And you stating that you basically think that he is not the symbol of actually working hard, then fine. But I've actually been following the manga more longer than anyone. Well, actually, I can't claim to say that I've actually followed the manga. I followed through most of the uh, movies, the adaptations, the six movies sucked ass. No doubt about that. I agree in that video of yours. It sucked. But still. But still. When I see Madara's character development with Naruto's, and you stating that you're actually praising this guy in one of your videos, you're probably stating that you want the entire majority of the Mar Naruto manga to end. In which I basically don't want it to end. I, to this very day, even with all the flaws, Naruto still remains my favorite character alongside with Bleach and One Piece. I mean, I grew up with these characters. I basically understand them at some point as nobility and righteousness as one. And Luffy, as much of an idiot as he is, he's still funny to look at in one of his mangas. And still remains one of my favorite characters, too. They, These big three are still my favorite characters. 
and you barking on Naruto's case because he's no longer the symbol of working hard, well, just look what he's accomplished. Just like Ashira is not enough. Ashira was not holding his hands. Ashira was not there when he needed him, when Naruto needed him. Ashira didn't actually help him against the cages. Ashira didn't actually help him gain the speed he needed in order to actually bypass Aiden's attack. Ashira wasn't there in the pain arc. Ashira wasn't there in anything. This character, Ashira, was added in the very last minute of the fucking arc. You can't just actually label a character to just some exposition in which he stated that he's just like Ashira because who the fuck is Ashira? We don't know anything about this guy. Nothing. We don't know anything about him. All we know is that he's an incarnation of Naruto. That's it. Nothing special there. And more importantly, more importantly, I could see you right there, Naomi. Get out of my room. More importantly, I have to at least state this important fact. The incarnation cycle, or rather, the cycle of what he used to live, is kind of almost as relevant to my argument as Avatar The Last Airbender. You know that series, right? Anyone actually knows the series. Aang is an incarnation of all the previous Avatars. But the one thing that sets him aside from all of them is that he chose never to actually kill someone. Even though his incarnations told him that it was the only way to actually stop huh, the war. And he didn't. He was the bigger man for actually standing up to his beliefs. He stood up to what he thought was right. He didn't let anyone tell him what to do. He did what he had to. And what he had to was to actually stop the war. To actually stop the Fire Lord. But he would not kill him because in the end it was wrong. Now... I'm not saying that you're wrong. If you want to hate the character, go ahead and hate him. I don't mind. I like your videos, but the current video that you put out on April 22nd of this year, you're only ranting about what you dislike about the character's decrease in value. And Madara, I don't know what the fuck is this guy's deal, so I can't actually support any of those claims that you stated. I'll still watch your videos. I really like your videos. You have great enthusiasm, no doubt about that, but this particular video of this current character, there is not enough facts to support that Naruto has decreased in value in any sorts. Just because of a prophecy that no one actually knew about and Naruto never cared about, or some situation in where the Sage of the Six Paths said that he's the incarnation of Ashura, when many other people believe that he was the incarnation of the Sage of the Six Paths or the incarnation of some person at one point. And to be honest, we barely know anything about any of them. The Sage, the uh, his sons, we don't know anything about them to support our claims about Naruto, and if it's basically similar in one way, that's fine, but all incarnations are like that. They have a similar lifestyle until to the point where they choose their own path. Naruto has his own path to follow. He followed through his own path. He didn't let anyone actually tell him otherwise of what he had to do. That's probably what makes his character so grand and why so many people believe in him. And no, I'm not actually going to put down my pants and tell him to suck my dick. That's not what I'm going to do. I'll still judge the character for his faults. Yes, I can tell that he got the Harry Potter treatment and it's pretty much a stupid claim. But at the same time, it keeps the story going and it basically brings on a new atmosphere of new characters and new developments that we've never actually had. Like, for example, who the hell knew that the Sage of the Six Path had a freaking brother? I mean, no one knew that. No one knew that the Sage had a brother. I want to know more about this guy. What, uh, what was the deal with the Sage of the Six Paths' brother? Why the hell did the Sage of the Six Paths decide to come in in the very last minute of the war? What the hell is going on with the fucking tree? Why is Madara even doing this? I seriously want to know why the hell Madara is even doing this. Why give me a reason why this character is so hell-bent on foreseeing this moon's eye plan in which will put everyone in a genjutsu. Look, I implore you to actually try to find reason with this character because 
you are basically having a lot of people rant on your your video stating that you're wrong about your claim and I don't like seeing that especially since now I actually started to grow fond on her videos and sorry that this basically took so long I'll try to actually add more facts to my claims but at the meantime just keep doing what you do god of, god of lightning take care and see you soon